good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Keeping It Real. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> What's like, going on, guys? Thought they were getting somebody different they today. Thought, didn't they? <laughs> they thought we, they thought we had a guest host. <laughs> oh no. Uh, we're building and we're working, it's gonna be him. Yeah, y'all gonna work with us today, guys. Uh, I got Tim here, which is who I got my rabbits from. And uh, he did a video on nesting boxes. And uh, the female is actually gonna have babies on Tuesday. So we gotta get the nesting box built for her. That way she can be all nice and comfortable and the babies can be. And we're gonna be using a whole lot of scrap wood from projects and stuff that I milled earlier in my little boneyard back there of just scraps this right here guys is not pine it is some hard hard wood and it's dry so it is the old rigid saw with the cheap blade on there is well it's everything that it needs to get through there boys whoa, whoa. There. why aren't we using just store-bought plywood you know like most people do because we off grid <laughs> and, and we have it because you'll come on and right, come, on. come on style. i mean I, I use both i mean it is what it is yeah, but okay. it, with projects like this if I have scraps laying around and stuff, then why not? I'm actually going to build the chicken uh, nesting boxes out of the same type material and stuff. That, and I think it gives it more character. I mean, your rabbit hutch is just plain Jane standard rabbit hutch too, right? Not quite. No, man. Not you go quite. back and watch that video of him making a rabbit hutch on Come On Homestead. Yeah. That thing is sexy. top notch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So why would the nesting box name any different, right? This is true. This is true. All right, guys. We already got our first one laid out right here. We're going to start with cutting the sides. They're going to be 20 inches. And it's going to have an 8 inch little ledge up here at the top. And then right here at the bottom is going to be what, 6 inches? Six, yep. 6 inches. So we're going to do an 8 to 6 slope, or actually a 10. Did we measure that out? It don't look right. No, I don't think. Oh, hold on. Yeah. I, I think we forgot one of our key measurements. We, we just went off the height of this right here instead of a. Doing it. Oh, so yeah. That's supposed the, to be 10. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'll still be the same slope no matter yeah. what. The slope's gonna, not going to change. Yes, 10 inch. To, I wonder why that looked funny yeah. compared to I was like, I got a, I got my plans right here. He don't do plans. No, he, we don't do lists. <laughs> I got a list right here. We don't do lists. <laughs> okay. right, I'm going to show people my list. Okay. Yeah. Right. Tim's always got a list. I even got pictures on my list. <laughs> Now, one thing that you do run in with using this type of wood is there's nothing truly square. So, we'll put that there. So, Tim, how's your experience been on Come On Mountain this trip? Man, we have had a wonderful time. Even though I'm all gimped up still, I got this uh, knee, knee brace on here. David's trying to uh, trip me up with all these things laying around here. But uh, It happens. Yeah, it happens on the mountain, right? Yeah. Um, man, we had a heck of a fun time last night didn't we oh yeah the yeah. whole uh as much as the family uh that could come over came over and we cooked up some groceries Ooh, or david did i should say he worked he worked from the moment before we got here yeah to to the time we went to bed last night his mind was working yeah tim was like <coughs> don't you think it's about time for you to stop <laughs> and he said when the lights went out he stopped <laughs> yeah barely barely but hey it was a good time oh man no, nonetheless we had a. Uh, four racks of baby back ribs uh we started off with a uh, three and a half pounds of chicken wings had ended up getting like five more pounds right yeah yeah and they're all gone too i think yeah wings. yeah all the chicken wings are gone and then we had uh tons of 12 johnsonville brats some what was those plant-based brats Ugh. yeah some plant-based yeah i didn't uh did you eat one of those i tried it was I, it I, edible it, it was all right i can make a shoe taste good so <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the reason we had those was uh, Mel from Simple Life Acclaim, you know, she's fighting that gout stuff, right? Yeah. So she's trying to, you know, get away from the red meats and everything. And, uh, of course, we're over here eating, eating the ribs and all that. Ah. Good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. We had all your baked beans, man. Woo! Baked it in beans. David's baked beans. Jin Jin fell in love with his baked bean sauce. She was like sitting back there drinking it with a, with a spoon. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to relay out this whole what's happening right here. How'd you mess that up? Uh, I didn't have a list. <laughs> didn't have a list. <laughs> Unfortunately, we both looked at it. We still. All right, you got it now. That looks so much right. More better. More better. More better. Isn't that what Jason says? More better. No, more gooder. More gooder. Okay. White Rock Homestead, guys. Go go, go check them out. Uh, Jason and Tara. 
they are definitely more gooder. More gooder. Alright, so that is a non avoider. That looks like a nesting box. And this right here is a non avoider. So what we're gonna do is. Right. By the way, uh, I'm a coffee drinker, and David has zero black coffee. But he said, "Tim, you gotta try this uh, Snicker what? Snickers. Snickers. The donut shop. Donut shop Snickers. It's for the the, the Keurig." And I'm like, man, I'm not a frou frou coffee drinker. Uh, this stuff good, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm okay. All right. Good stuff. I'm using black coffee and sugar. You know. All right. Let's do a little cutting. This is some hard, hard wood. Yeah. Hard wood. Probably a sweet gum. <laughs> Probably one of them there sweet gums. That sweet gum's not hard wood. But cutting slow to make the video last longer right now what I'm doing is there's actually I should cut like all the way across and do all of that but as hard as this wood is I'm doing as minimum cuts as possible that's why you've seen me kind of dive into the wood like that slowly I'm trying to limit the amount of cuts because this junk is hard it's probably oak or something like that and it's just once that's once that oak dries it, it's hard hard this will probably be the last use of this blade anyways <laughs> this is my uh stock blade that came with the saw that i use for a lot of my trash cuts and stuff and uh i'll be putting the diablo blade on before i do those windows Look at that, guys. 
That junk is solid. It's gonna be the most durable nesting box ever created. Yeah, this and this will last forever and ever. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, the rabbit's gonna be chewing up going. Arr, arr, arr. The reason why I was trying not to cut into this right here, why you just see me do all that stuff, is because if you flip it around, you can actually use your cut here, and it eliminates yeah. the cut for you. As thick as this wood is, we need to go a little wider. On our dimensions, because the, yeah. the wood I was using was 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 like you know thin. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you'll be too narrow. So we're gonna go a little bit wider. That's why it's a game plan, right? Yeah. Not a set plan. You wonder where old Domino is? I think he fell in love with old Jin Jin. Old Jin Jin. He been uh he been she been keeping him warm. Oh, we got a campfire going behind us. Yep. And uh, I think she went and ate her breakfast, and I think Domino's uh, culling, on, culling on some gin gin. And of course, we've got Clips over here since he's not in with the goats anymore. Why is he not in with the goats? Because I didn't want him to use the baby goats as a chew toy. <laughs> then baby goats are so cute, guys. If you haven't gone over to Come On Homestead and watching the goat video, you missing one of the best videos in a while. Yeah, how can you, how can you not one. like baby goats? It's a cute one. Chilly morning. Chilly, chilly, chilly. Joker, I promise you the rest of the stuff's gonna cut a whole lot easier. <laughs> Look at there. Perfect. All right. That'll work. So now. So we're gonna go a little wider than we had originally planned. Yeah. Yeah, I like that right there. So we still gotta cut one more. I think what I'm gonna do, instead of cutting the back out of this too. Oh no. You're, you're, yeah. You got enough rigidity in just these two side pieces. Yeah, I think we're gonna. Do we have something about what? Height. No, yeah. you, got, you got a new one taller. Yeah. Yep. You know what I could just use? A piece of that plywood. Mm -hmm. That one over there? Yeah. All right. I got some right now. <coughs> you got some for you. Oh, yeah, I got it. Perfect. I can actually use this for all of it. The front. The side. Pre-burnt. Pre-burnt. Let's go wider. 
the tape measure. Let's see. So originally, it was going to be um, 10 by 10 back. Let's go 10 by 12 on the back. So 10 high, 12 wide. I go 13. No, uh, huh. you got to move your board. Oh yeah. <laughs> Make it 12. 10 by 12. You gotta be able to adapt, improvise, overcome. Yeah, the wood on, on my plans, the wood is uh, I use a lot thinner wood. We don't we don't want that nesting box to be interior this wide. Yeah. <laughs> His David got some big old rabbits, they'd be squeezing that big old butt in and out. <laughs> big old rabbit. <laughs> Be like David trying to get into a Yugo. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. Nah, I don't look like King Koopa on Mario Kart. <laughs> so you see, you got two more days, and the they should uh, she should be kindling. Yeah. Tuesday. As usually, you want to put your uh, nesting box in around day twenty-eight, and uh, day thirty-one is their. There. These rabbits are almost to the time scale, to the letter on the, on their uh, gestation period for these. So 31 days. I usually put the box in about 28 days just in case, or they start pulling fur off their chest. As soon as they start pulling fur off their chest, it's usually going to happen pretty quick. Now I've had them, I've had them do it days early. And I'm, sometimes I had them not do it at all. You have to steal fur from one of the other ones. Build, build another nesting box in the future, and he'll probably use a thicker on the back for that one. Oh yeah. But this is this be fine, as, as, as rigid as that is. Be just fine, just fine. Fine as wine. Tim, where's your safety glasses? Yeah. I am bringing them. Yeah. Turning my head on me. You're going to get a bunch of comments.
side, right? Hefty box. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're using some of the thinner stuff, try to lighten the load a little bit. Yeah, so uh, we're going to use hardware cloth at the bottom, half inch by half inch. And uh, of course, when, when he puts it in there, uh, he'll put in hay or put cardboard on the bottom initially. And the cardboard is going to keep the little, the little baby rabbit's feet from getting stuck out through those uh, that hardware cloth holes. Um, and then put hay on top of that. Mama rabbit will get in there, pull all that fur out, create this little nest for them. And then of course, after a few days, we'll pull that uh, cardboard out because it'll get all saturated. I cut that a lot easier, didn't I? Well, now that I got the blade, that's good. this at home. wider on that interior yeah you want when you see how big uh, uh david's uh, female hurt his doe rabbit woo. they've seen it but now that she's now that she's pregger she's even bigger yeah So uh, around 28 days, the, the mama rabbit, her hair on her uh, chest, her fur on her chest area starts getting, like it starts falling out. She'll, she'll pull it out and she'll make a, a, a center nest inside that hay and she'll just line that sucker like a down pillow. Oh my gosh. And you, you wouldn't believe how much fur she can pull out. It's like, there's like a whole rabbit in there. But again, sometimes they don't pull hardly at all. That's, you're like, whoo. New mamas, and you know, they, they don't, 
Do that by instinct. Two shiners. That's nothing in the middle, too. Look. Oh, look at that. That yeah, wood's so hard. True story. I actually put one of these through my thumb Oof. last week. You got a cutting tool right there if you want to cut, cut bite them, pop them off. There you go. You gonna burn this to get a little more all the way around? Or? Nah, I'm just gonna leave it and let it age. Yeah. I think after being as if we're in a time restraint, yeah. when I pull it out, I'll probably do it. Yeah. That helped preserve it too. That yeah. uh, burning the outside of the wood helped preserve it. Of course, this piece has already been burned. This piece is already burned. I don't know. Burned. I might burn it. All right. Hard work. Hard work. Out. Half inch by half inch. And again, people are like, why, why don't you just leave the bo bottom open? You're putting it over hardware cloth. Well, um, Mama Doe, this one's a heavy box, sometimes not as heavy, but Mama Doe will be moving around everything and can slide and then babies can get their little hands and heads and necks uh, caught up under there. So you put the hardware cloth there and make sure it keeps them babies inside the box. Missed it completely. Now I see why his deer season worked out the way it did. I don't miss. <laughs> you must be well, talking. You, might, you must that? be talking about Mike. What was that talk show? The, the results call him a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I got deer in my freezer there, Hoss. Yeah, go, go ahead. You can do some this yeah. way. Did you just see me miss that? I seen you miss it twice. I know. So what makes you think I can do this one? <laughs> you want me to do it? Missed the first one. <laughs> yeah, that thing's not lined up. Harbor Freight Stapler. <laughs> See if Jim can do it. It is hard to line up, isn't it? Hmm. Are we out? Are we out? Shooting blanks, everybody. Staples I got from you and Damble that one time. Might be. <laughs> I've got a million of them laying around here. Good morning, sunshine. Who got hurt? Oh, <laughs> Ginger and over here coming up going, who got hurt? I, I was just me making fun. Oh, okay. We were, he was stapling my finger and I, you know. I was like, oh no, now what? <laughs> She's like, Tim's got a gimp knee, a gimp arm, now he's <laughs> falling apart over here. Sucks getting old. and then I'll let you play. Oh, you don't trust me, guys. Don't trust me a bit. Look at that. All right. Boom. On Live the money. Missed the on, the, on the money. Every single one of them. On the money. Yeah. We missed. Let's get a couple more over here. Don't you like how somebody hangs out? 
puts three staples in. Now all of a sudden he's the expert. That's right. I did all the insulation in that cabin right there. The old cabin, if you look at the ins the only way he stayed cold, uh, warm that first year was Ridge Life insulation work. That's and right. if you believe that, I got some um, desert land in Florida to sell you. <laughs> Tim, watch your eyes, buddy. Woo! Watch your phone, too, for sparks when they go out. I don't want to mess your screen up. David's uh, uh, hoodie there. That's a new come on homesteading style. Look at that, guys. Where can, they get, where can they get one of them there right there? Bonfire, baby. Bonfire.com. Come on homesteading. Oh, hey, I came unplugged. Oh, gotcha. Look at that. What I'm doing right now, guys, is just getting the little sharp pieces off. That way you never run into an issue. staples get it all nice and nice and tight but you can see how this is oh this is working out guys this is a good looking nesting box perfect size so mama doe get in here make a little nest in the back um, you don't want to put it in too early they'll start using it as a litter box I'm gonna set the up. but she'll uh, she'll set up on top of there kits will be inside there Mama Doe only goes in here twice a day. You know, a lot of you think, you know, that she's going to sit on these things like eggs. No, no. She gets in there. She ha has the kits, kindling. It's called kindling. And uh, then she gets in there and feeds them twice a day, like 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. She doesn't really attend to them that much. But she'll, she'll sit up here and watch them. Pretty amazing. And they pop around like little uh, uh, Mexican jumping beans. And they make a noise, too. They, they like, chirp almost. It's pretty crazy. Get these hammered in here, get all the little sharp spots out. Man, what a beautiful day here on the mountain. Get these crazy ones off. David missed all of you. Know. It's like his deer season, you know. I think he missed like 10 deer this year. He got one. He did get one. That was good. So, when he's not here, I can say anything I want. Of course, way better than old Mike down there at Three Mississippi. Oh my goodness. I, I, if I was him, I wouldn't even talk about deer hunting. But Frankie, Frankie is the boss now. She took that coyote right out. All right, let's get a couple more staples in here. I think we missed a few. Missed a few spots. There we go. It's looking pretty good right there, guys. I don't know. Yeah, we can't go any further right there. All 
Ah, thank you. We've corrected all David's mistakes. He can come yeah. back and uh, pretty it up. You well, know? I'm sure while I was gone, Tim was telling a whole bunch of lies. <laughs> Probably about 90% of them, except for uh, the three Mississippi part. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So uh, we know our deer, but how about our fishing? Uh, who, who's like the, uh, of all the fam family group, who's the top two fishermen? Well, I know I caught the most. I'm just saying. <laughs> he thinks he caught the most. He didn't. <laughs> Tim can't count. He was well. counting sucker fish no, and no. minnows and no. crawdads. Tim, he was counting all. I Tim, just count the trout, the big ones. Yeah, Tim don't count well, I guess. He don't count well. You have to go back and watch our uh, family uh, fishing video. That was fun. That's why Tim uh, became an electrical engineer instead of a mathematical engineer. Because <laughs> he's not too good with the count. Hey, my fishing math is pretty good. But he's got he's got a list. <laughs> he's definitely got a list. All right, fire's involved now. It's definitely when he says, kids, don't do this at home. Don't do this at home. Woo! Need more pressure. Come on. I know we got plenty of gas. Maybe some juice. Oh, power.
your peace, man. That's beautiful. Whew. What's the longest uh, keeping it real you've ever done? Uh, about 30 minutes. Keeping it real? Yeah. Oh, we went way over that on this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a good one for you guys. <laughs> Maybe we'll do it as a premiere. This is a whoa, this is life on the mountain right here. Life guys. on the mountain. Yeah, but y'all got to see start to finish, minus getting the tools out and all that stuff, kind of getting the material over here, start to finish. It's gonna be a little warm. Oh yeah, look at this, guys. That is nice. Yeah, let me take y'all off. I'll show y'all. Nice man, you did a real good job. This is Ridge Life approved. Ridge Life approved. Yep, yep. Your rabbits will be happy, happy, happy. Well, I try to keep my animals happy, happy, happy. You do a good job of it too, man. Very healthy, very happy animals. I mean, if you could just see how happy your yard goat is, your yard goat. <laughs> <laughs> you well, have the happiest yard goat in the world. Coco the yard goat. Coco the yard goat. And then, of course, Eclipse is just happy wherever she's at. Yeah, Eclipse is just and a then happy Domino, girl. Domino's gonna be right in the center of everything. And that cart you got behind your uh, e-bike. I, I wanna do a little bit more. He's gonna be burning a little bit more. Very nice. We had a man, see a campfire way over here? Well, uh, we finished the night last night. Um uh, about a third of us sitting around that campfire. Oh, it was nice. Mount Magazine is right through those trees over there. See that blue skies, guys? He's gonna clear that out a little bit over there and he'll have a Mount Magazine view from that fire pit. Woo! Gonna be gorgeous. What'd you do, you froze it up? It's froze. <laughs> it did freeze, look at that. Yeah. Froze that sucker. I wasn't getting no pressure. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> So that's going to be uh, your, uh, um, uh, your goat fin uh, area behind you, right? Over there? Come on. Uh, come on. <laughs> come on. Yeah, that whole, from up here, down the hill, all the way to the end of the property is going to be all goat enclosure. Nice. Come on. I think we're getting more ice. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna have to let that defrost a little bit. Yeah. Huh. Well, do you want to see how it fits in the? Let's do it. Thing. Yep. It's cool enough for you to touch now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can hobble over there. No. Now remember, hop, hop along, Cassidy. He's kind of a little bit slow behind <laughs> you here. I'm a one-legged uh, uh, gimpy person here. What's up, the Eclipse? You're so pretty. You're so pretty. There's the yard goat. Yard goat. She's gonna come with us, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Coco. Coco Puff. How you doing, Coco Puff? Oh, run, 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 run. Go. All right, David's running off and leaving me now. I'm gimpy, gimpy. Got the chickens in the background over there. You got a... Was it LLJ? No, LL Cool J. Uh, AAJ or whatever? Oh no! He's Billy Badass Biker! The rooster, I heard him this morning. He's gonna open this up and there's gonna be baby rabbits in here. <laughs> he had his. He can't do math either. She's hey, been making. She's been making a nest already. Look at that. She's a big old girl. Yeah, that's a perfect size box for her. Yep. Move that tile off to the side over there. That way all the... There we go. Yeah, that's, I, you got a big tile, yeah, she's fine. Hey, she already started pulling some fur? Look at there. See, yeah. right there? So do I put it in here? I gotta go ahead and put the yeah, put the hay in there. And what it is, she, she'll start doing it herself too. If, if, yeah. if you didn't, yep. We'll see if she gets in there. Yep. Baby girl. Yeah, 
Yeah, she's a big old girl. <laughs> yeah. I feed them a little more than I'm supposed to. <laughs> imagine that. Yeah. Imagine, imagine that. Imagine David feeding that. somebody. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you're going to come to the mountain, you're going to get fed. Oh, yeah. Whether you're one of his animals or you're a friend. Woo! Here comes the yard goat. Yeah, I think that fits in there good. She's still yeah. got room. Is your buck in the center here? Uh, oh, the two bucks, right? Yeah, all, yeah, the yeah. other three are all males. Yeah, mine, uh, I've got my buck in the center. Yeah. Don't you? One doe, Ginger, she doesn't get peed on like that. Yeah. But my uh, white one. The buck pees on her like crazy. Just sit there and sprays on her. That's why she, yeah. she's she's not dirty. She's just been peed on by the buck. Yeah. Go check out your new digs. Look at her. Look at her uh, chin there. Yeah. Got a double chin. Got big old toe. Oh, yeah. Hey girl. I think she's gonna sling a few of them. <laughs> How many times did you, did they breed? I left them in there about 30, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. I sat out here with them. I'd say at least 12 times. What? Yeah. <laughs> that was one happy buck. <laughs> well, what I did is I left them in there. What I typically do, just to make sure that they take, is I leave them in there until they both just act like they just don't even care yeah, that each other's in there. Yeah. they just kind of doing their own thing. You got to be careful because uh, the doe can get kind of upset and she'll cut his junk well, off. that's why I always yeah. sit there with yeah. them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It only takes there like she, 30 minutes. Yeah. There she goes. And I have no problem... Just sitting there watching the animals. Oh, yeah. Things. Yeah, well, he likes watching the rabbit porn, so. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting over here going, bow, bow, bow. Bow, 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 cow. It's okay. Ooh, look at those big, big old eyes. She's a sweetheart, too. Mm -hmm. She's definitely my calmest one. Mm -hmm. Here but comes I, Domino. I'm not going to lie. I give her more attention than the rest Domino. of <laughs> Domino. What is up there, Domino? What are you doing there, buddy? Did Jin Jin give you all the loving? <laughs> Don't be getting jealous. He's all that is is jealousy. He's JJ. Whew. Beautiful. Yep, she'll, she'll find it. Well. Come back in there a day or so. Make me some groceries. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. This one's been a pretty long one. But uh, make sure that you do something nice for somebody. Take another step closer to your goals, guys. But always, and I do mean always, keep it real. Come on.